Hey, it's John from Tinderbox Arts. So I'm gonna do a quick little video review here, discussion uh, about the Gibraltar uh, Stealth Mounting System. This is kind of a rack mounted system um, with whole bunches of different ways of doing things. And there's tons of videos already about these. Um, and when I was researching, I looked a lot of the videos, including the ones from the manufacturer. Um, some of my questions were answered, but a few were really not until I actually got the unit and had a chance to see it in person. So I want to go over, I'll do some background why I purchased this, and then I want to talk to you about a couple little issues that uh, you might want to be aware of before you purchase. All right, first of all, uh, you know, my drum set is from the late 70s, early 80s, right? So, and it's a mess right now. I got microphones everywhere, and um, you know, it's just a... It's just pretty crowded. So you see kind of the reason why I wanted to try this stealth mounting system and a rack system is because I had so many stands, and that was before I had the microphones, uh, I had so many stands that it was just getting in the way. And even though this drum set doesn't go anywhere, it just sits here, um, you know, it still was annoying to trip over the stands. And I, just to get around the back of the kit here, I like having my drums really tight. So from this perspective, you know, it looks like a mess on the outside, but from this perspective, it's real tight so you know the tolerances between drums you know for me I like to have very tight and that's hard to get when you have just stands and you start adding the cymbals and everything else in so I thought maybe the rack mount system might give me the ability to get everything a little bit closer now over here on the right side by the floor Tom you can see what I mean I got this rack mounted system this stealth rack mount system and it allowed me to get three cymbals I got one here one here and one there all mounted up on the same rack and that does save a lot of floor space as far as tripods if you have stands there before I had one or I think two stands actually uh, and I had uh, I don't know some kind of multi clamp or something holding one of the symbols up but it was just kind of messy and I couldn't really get things exactly where I wanted them so this new stealth system um, is great in the sense that it does allow you the flexibility and these clamps as you've seen on many other videos um, can move back and forth on this large bar right here. You can get different size bars um, which allow you to you know change where things are located and what's, what's possible. So as far as all that it worked pretty well. Over here on the front side you can see I used a curved bar. This is a 40 inch curved bar and that allowed me to come you know around the one base drum here and again I've added uh, let's see, there's one symbol here, a splash, a, a, cr a crash here, and another splash here. And the way I did this one was, instead of using, um, you know, their unique leg system that they have here, instead of using that, I tied, let me get in here, I used these multi-clamps and tied off to existing stands, which was a different way of doing it, but it's worked fine. So, it still allowed me to get rid of, I had an, another stand here that I got rid of. Now, again, it's kind of laughable now because I have all this microphone stuff. I have some old snare stands that are holding a microphone in here, but that stuff is not normally there if I'm not miking. So the stand, um, the Gibraltar stand, did allow me to clean that up. Now, let me show you around the snare side. So over here below my snare, right, previously I had, you know, a standard snare stand, and I would find that I would have trouble um, with interference with the pedals or the throne and you know just too many tripod legs here and we just get in the way of each other so I'd always be tripping over that so this allows you to just use a single stand right here from Gibraltar and there's a bar going out which helps stabilize everything and it looks kind of unwieldy but it really isn't it's very solid and I'm a heavy hitter so I've had no problems as far as that um, and it does allow enough height adjustment in fact it gives me a little more height adjustment than I had before so that's all been good. Now ultimately I might choose to get some additional um, Gibraltar stands and you know maybe have another one come around here to hold up some stuff uh, but I'll start to get into some issues I had when I first set this up. So if you look here there's my snare stand that I just showed you on the other side here. That bar comes out and it's supposed to attach to this, this is why I have this extra, it's supposed to attach to this extra leg right here. It doesn't because of two issues. One, I found that, again, my bass drums are, two bass drums here are pretty close together, and I found that there was interference with this 
leg. It's supposed to stand like that. And, you know, the distance between these two was not really enough um, to make all this work. Now, I could get a longer bar, um, and that would help. Um, and I could, I, what I wanted to do originally was to have these toms. So above here, let me bring you up here. I had two toms, which is a pretty good amount of weight. There's a 13-inch and a 15-inch tom there. And the idea originally was to have those toms come down and attach to this bar and attach through here. But that's where I ran into my first problem. So let me describe one of the issues I think you need to know about. So here's the top of um, the receiving post. Um, and as we all know, there are different sized holes um, for various different sized uh, stands and different brands. They all use, well, there's three or four or five different sizes, but they all use different sizes, so you have to be aware of that. Now Gibraltar very cleverly has a plastic insert, so this black area right here is a plastic insert that you can take in and out, and they give you other inserts so that it pretty much covers any size of post that you would need, which is great. However, there is one little problem, which is um, normally when a stand, um, let me take you over to it, here's an old Tama stand, right? So normally, uh, when a stand is designed, this uh, tube fits into this tube, and it fits fairly tight when you get down to this area, right? You have a, a little plastic doodad here that squeezes the tube, but down here, it's fairly tight against the walls. In fact, the newer ones have a piece of plastic at the end of the tube, which prevents it from rattling back and forth. And it also provides stability because you have two places where this tubes or these two tubes are, are uh, clamped in place now. One on the bottom here if it's tight and one at the top where you have this little clamp right here. Unfortunately, the Gibraltar system is different in the sense that if you're using this top clamp here, it will change, you know, you can put in a different insert to change size, but the tube down here is quite large. And in fact, it's bigger than anything else you're going to use. So what happens is you really only have one point of attachment and there's nothing to hold the other tube that's, you know, internal here from rattling around or moving. So as a result, you only have the clamping pressure of this one little area here. And that's really not that much. So what I found was I was nervous about putting the weight of these two toms here just on this little area of clamp. And it, I tried some things and I just, it wasn't holding and I, I wasn't happy with it. So I ended up not using this. And what I did instead was I, I got a multi-clamp and attached it to this tripod stand. So in the end, I'm still using a tripod stand for the two toms. And I'm using the, this multi-clamp attached to that tripod stand uh, to hold the other side of the snare stand. I mean, it works but it really wasn't the cleanup that I had hoped. I had hoped to get rid of these two tripod, or this tripod stand right here, and I just couldn't do that. So be aware that if you're gonna put some significant weight um, on, on one of these, you know, you only have the clamping pressure of this area alone, and that may not be enough. Another thing I wasn't so happy about were these multi-clamps. So there's, there's um, two different types. Um, at least, anyway. Uh, this the multi-clamp that I got is adjustable so that, you know, this part right here attaches to the large bar that they sell, and this part right here is adjustable for clamping whatever tube that you might have. And this particular style of multi-clamp adjusts, so you, you can turn it 360 degrees like this. So that would allow you to change, you know, the direction of this tube, which is good, the bad side is um, it doesn't get exactly 90 degrees. So this this one in particular, I'm not sure you'd be able to see this on camera, but if I pull back this multi-clamp right here, it's as close to 90 as I can get it, but it ends up that it's not exact, so therefore this tube is not straight up and down. And you know, it's, it's fine as far as function, but it looks kind of weird. So I'm not thrilled about that. Now you can get um, let me see if I have one here. Somewhere I have one. You can get another clamp um, that does not adjust, and those are straight up 90 degrees. I'm looking for one that I have here. I think, yeah, this is one right here. So this one, you know, does not adjust, and, 
you know, it will stay that 90 degrees and it's fine, but you can't adjust it. So I think the lesson is if you really need the adjustability, um, go ahead and get the adjustable multi clamp. But um, if you want, if you're mostly going to use this up 90 degrees, you know, up and down, then stay with the other style and don't get this. I thought I was being clever by getting this and having the ability to change things in the future, but it's really kind of annoying having that not being able to go directly to 90 degrees. Now, as far as how all these clamps adjust, um, the big ones on the, on, the, uh, on the leg here, you know, you just use a standard drum key down here to squeeze that. And a lot of the clamps just have uh, wing nuts, which is fine. And there's plenty of strength there as far as all that. Um, you yeah, know, I don't have any issues. Uh, there's memory clamps that you can get. So those are not inexpensive, but you can get those so you can, um, you know, have repeatability. Um, all the, the, the construction is good, you know, the, the rubber is solid and big, the chrome is well done, everything's good as far as all that. Uh, it's just these two design issues that, that I showed you earlier that I'm a little bit concerned about. So anyway, you know, overall I like the system and I think it's worthwhile, especially if you have an older drum kit like this, that, you know, I can kind of breathe new life into it just by getting some different stands and being able to set it up in ways that I couldn't before. So that's all good. Um, and as far as the construction and, and quality of it all, it's all pretty good. Really my only concerns were, you know, this this clamp area and, um, you know, these multi-clamps being a little off if you if you get the adjustable type. That's, those are my two main concerns. So, uh, with a caveat, just be careful how you're using these and be aware that if you want to put a lot of weight on this area, you may be getting yourself into trouble because this one clamp may not be enough to hold the weight. Other than that, I like the system and I think I can recommend it.